this example, I'll be demonstrating how to set up and run a shell and tube heat exchanger in ANSYS Workbench, specifically with Fluent. The shell and tube heat exchanger has hot gas inlets with high temperature air flowing in through five tubes. It also has room temperature water entering the shell and going through the shell and then out the water outlet. And the hot gas goes through five tubes right through the middle of the shell and tube heat exchanger. I've opened up ANSYS Workbench. I'm going to drag and drop an analysis system of Fluent onto Workbench. First step is that I'm going to import the geometry that I've already created. And then I'm going to do a standard mesh on it. In ANSYS Meshing, I created the hot gas inlets, I created the water inlet, I created the water outlet, named these faces, and the hot gas outlets. Under the meshing, I set the sizing to proximity and coarse, and we ended up with 420,000 elements. After closing mesher, I have to right click on this mesh block and update. Now we have the geometry and the mesh completed. Need to double click on ANSYS Fluent Setup. I'm going to run on 10 processors on my machine and click OK and open up Fluent. Now that Fluent is open, I'll double click on Cell Zone and double click and I look at the water. Click on the water and notice that I brought it in as a solid. I did this so that I could create fluid solid interface for heat transfer. I want to change it to a fluid and I'll say OK. Now I want to turn on energy equation for heat transfer. I want to change from laminar to K epsilon realizable and click OK. And then under materials, fluid, I just have air. I want to open this up and open the Fluent database and then scroll down to the bottom and pick liquid water. And now I have both water and air as materials. Under the cell zone, the default for the cell zones for these pipes is air. I want to keep that air, but I want to change the water cell zone to water and click OK. Next, I want to open up the boundary conditions and for each of these hot gas inlets I want to put the velocity magnitude to 10 meters per second. I also want to change the default temperature to 1000 degrees Kelvin <clears throat> and repeat that for each of the pipe inlets. Next, I want to open up the water inlet and I want to change it to 2 meters per second and I'll leave the default 300 degrees Kelvin. I left the water and gas outlets at zero pressure. Next I want to click on the shadow wall and I want to click on the thermal tab and I want to set a wall thickness of 0 0.003. I want to repeat that for all the shadow walls and then we're ready to initialize the solution. I'm going to use hybrid initialization. And then it's time to put in 300 iterations and calculate. After it's run 300 iterations, it's now time to look at the results. Back in Workbench, I double click on results, start opening up CFD Post. In CFD Post created some streamlines. You can see water coming in, water going out. The temperatures in the pipe cool down from about 1,000 degrees Kelvin down to about 500 degrees Kelvin. And the temperature in the water heats up from about 300 degrees to about 300.2 degrees.